what's, what are, what's the nature of communication with alumni, yeah. donor, parents, friends, and you know, yeah. how, how are you guys, you know, talking with the Cornell community right now? Sure. Yeah. So I've been tasked with a, uh, a new role, <laughs> um, leading, um, and coordinating digital content. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh we congratulations are just, this is a tough yeah, time to start yeah. yeah so we have just been hit with a, a fire hose of uh digital content requests ideas um you know stuff that we have in the can already that we think we should resurface stuff that we think we need to produce um and so uh, we do have one program on tuesday that we decided was a worthy program to communicate to all alumni all, all parents, um, including current parents and students. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've got a panel of faculty experts who are, are gonna be talking about the origins of COVID-19, yeah. the response management, and um, the future impacts on the economy. And so we've pulled together our all-stars from our uh, um, College of Medicine, from um, our business school, um, from our veterinary college, um you know across the boards um we picked those all stars to come out and so we're we're actually going to air the panel and do live questions on tuesday and then we're going to rebroadcast the panel and do live questions again for um an international audience so that's going to air at 7 a.m on saturday morning um, awesome. so two opportunities for folks to get involved with that and that was one that we've been working on for a while actually um we had a asia pacific leadership conference that we canceled um back in February, um, because it was supposed to be in Singapore, yep. uh, or no, it was supposed to be in South Korea, it's in Seoul, and so we canceled that. And when we canceled it, we decided we've got to put a program, a program like this, in place. And so um, that's gonna, you know, that's come together, um, and will air on Tuesday. Um, and then I think we're we're being careful about um, how we decide to push content out. Um, we're shifting from a regional focus to a global focus. Mm -hmm. Um, we're thinking about events being planned digitally first. Um, you know, we still haven't decided whether or not reunion will happen this summer. Ours happens a little bit later than other places. Um, but we're going into it with a digital first mindset. All of these things make me very happy <laughs> because working um, on a digital team for as long as I have, I've been you know, trying to change our culture to think digital first and now we're going to be forced to. <laughs> so, um, so in some ways that's exciting to see, to see how we work and how we think about our work going forward. Yeah. It's an opportunity to try new things or to invest, you know, more resources in what you guys have been doing for a long time yeah. On, yeah. and just make, take it to a, a broader scale. Is there gonna be a fundraising component to that like panel on Tuesday, you know, thinking about, you know, that type of content, I imagine you're going to get hundreds of thousands thousands really of, of people to tune in and people want to know how to help. So how are you going to handle that? Um, we, we aren't going to market anything, but we're, but we're ready to respond with, you know, when people do raise their hand, mm -hmm. um, I think, um, there's a lot of different ways people could give at this point and, we're still not quite sure, you know, if we want to highlight any one fund over another. Um, and so um, there's not going to be any direct ask during the panel or, follow, or in the immediate follow up anyway. Um, but we are, we've got a, we've got a list of funds at the ready um, that we're anticipating if, you know, if folks do have questions and, and a lot of them, you know, are to support our annual funds. Uh, every single college at Cornell has an annual fund. Our units have annual funds, and those are the unrestricted dollars that um, aren't earmarked for something that's so specific um, that can be flexible and help in in times like this. So, um, I think it's a, a great opportunity for us to re-educate our audiences about how important the annual funds are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this highlights the the need for unrestricted dollars, whether it's for the endowment or through the annual fund, and uh, no one could have predicted this would have happened maybe three, four months ago, sometimes even three, four weeks ago. So, um, I think we're also being really sensitive to the class of 2020 right now. Yeah. Um, and, um, we had a message from the president this morning saying that commencement 
will be postponed. Um, and that I think um, we knew was going to come, <laughs> you know, in the past, in the past couple of days, we kind of saw that coming. Um, but to hear it definitively is, you know, that's a tough pill to swallow. Um, and that this class we know is going to be unlike any other class. Um, and, you know, I think we're going to have to be really thoughtful about them forever and their yeah. experience in this last year. So I'm um, focusing on effort, our efforts on um, thinking about how we can serve the class of 2020 uh, is, is something that uh, we have a, a group of staff members rallying around right now. Awesome. If you had one piece of advice, you know, you're, you're really leveraging digital, you're making more, you know, heavier investments in all of the things you're doing, shifting events to digital as we think about advancement going fully digital and fully remote what's your one piece of advice for other shops oh man um this is i mean it it takes a lot of organization to work remotely um and a kind of organization that i don't think we're used to um because we can't just huddle we can't just check i mean you can but in a different way right so um so for me i'm, I'm going to use an example with gathering all this digital content um we have to have ex you know realistic expectations of our staff members um and we need to have systems in place to get hyper organized um and that's going to take some time so if you're in a position like me where you're getting flooded with digital content requests and asks and all of a sudden everyone needs to know how to do everything digitally um you know push back on those expectations a bit and um, give yourself time to get organized to organize your resources to organize places to gather all of this information um, so that it's in one place and that one place is not your inbox um, that is not a sustainable place to be uh, gathering information and um, just give yourself some time to um, find the workflows that are going to fit this new world. Um, a lot of it for me means moving stuff out of my inbox and into a project management tool, use Basecamp, uh, moving conversations out of your inbox and moving them to a chat platform like Slack or Skype. Um, and so it's, it's a lot of behavioral change for staff who aren't used to working fully digitally and, um, in our own workflows, it really, it really needs to change from sticky notes to stopping people in the hall to ask them something <laughs> to just being hyper organized about the status of projects, um, where things are going to live, where files are going to live. Um, and it's going to take time. So, uh, give yourself that time to get organized and it'll pay dividends. Yeah, so think about when we're thinking about communicating externally, do a ton of communication work internally, build that hub, you know, build that yeah. list of shared resources, get in front of people on video, get in front of people on Slack, make sure that everybody's on the same page as, as we move forward. That's yeah. easier said than done, but I yeah. think it's great advice. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for the time. I really sure. appreciate it and, uh, you know, best of luck and be well. Yeah, same to you. Thanks. Don't.